What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of you guys out there are doing well. So, Scorpio, this is going to be something a little different. I was kind of led to pull from these cards. These are the Angel Messages cards, but it's going to kind of be like a three-for-one deal, okay? This first row, we're going to look at your home and family. We're going to look at love and romance. And then we're going to look at career and work or career and finances. So, it's like you basically getting three readings in one, Scorpio, okay? And I'm going to go back and clarify some of these cards. So let's look at home and family. So I feel like in your home and family, Scorpio, some of you guys have been manifesting some things. Maybe you've been manifesting some changes or you want, want to move or, you know, do something differently within your home and family dynamic. And I feel like for some of you guys, you don't even know that you have the power to manifest. You know, you may hear about people manifesting and you kind of, kind of like, what the hell is manifesting? How do I do that? But some of you guys, you have the power to manifest. Whatever it is you want, you can bring that shit into reality, okay? Then we have cut the cords. So I feel like there could be some negative energy in your home and family dynamic. And it's like, we cut the cords here. It's like, spirit wants you to cut the cords on whatever that negative energy is that you have going on because that's going to hold you back. You know, it's going to hold you back from maybe manifesting some things that you want in your life and being able to receive whatever it is that you're manifesting. So if you have negative, negative people in your family, you know, your family can be negative too, Scorpio. It ain't always got to be people on the outside. Sometimes it's the people right there with you. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like if you feel like there's any negative energy within your home and family or around your, you know, family dynamic, it could be friends too. Spirit is wanting you to cut those cords because whatever you're trying to manifest, you're not going to get that shit if you are surrounded by the negative energy. And I feel like with listening deeply, it's like your intuition is telling you who those negative people are in your home, who those negative people are in your family, who those negative people that you have surrounded you. I feel like your intuition is trying to tell you. And I feel like we'll listen deeply. Your spirit guides want you to listen to whatever your intuition is telling you because it's trying to guide you to maybe move away from some people. So for manifestation, I pull success. So I feel like a lot of you guys could be trying to manifest some type of success within your home and family dynamic. You know, maybe some of you guys are trying to blend families or, you know, you're just trying to make some type of, you just want to have success when it comes to your home and family dynamic. You know, maybe you're trying to get a new job so you can provide better for your home and family, but it's like you will have success and you feel be manifesting success. And then for cut the cords, we have anything that hinders your blessing. So whatever that you could be trying to manifest, if you have negative energies around you, that's gonna hinder those blessings that you're trying to manifest here. So you need to cut those cords for those people, places, and things that's going to hinder your blessings. Also, jobs that no longer serve you guys. Some of you guys are, you know, you could like your job, but it's like maybe that job just is not providing for you. You know, the income is not enough, and it's like you want to move around and find something new, but, you know, you kind of like that shit, so it's like do you want to, you know, struggle, or do you want to do something that you can have more income with? So cut those cords and those jobs that no longer serve you because you're holding yourself back for that success, okay? And then for a listen, did I have one for listen deeply? Yes. Okay, then listen deeply. I feel like empathy. I feel like maybe some of you guys, your intuition is telling you maybe to look at a situation from both sides. You know, maybe you've had some issues with, you know, family, friends, or something that you want to cut the cords, or you're trying to decide if you need to cut the cords. But maybe you need to look at a situation from both sides, you know, just not looking at something from a one-sided angle. Okay, so for... Um, Romance and love, the first card we are love and romance. The first card we have here is healing energy. So I feel like when it comes to your love and romance, Scorpio, a lot of us, we are here trying to heal from our past. We're trying to heal, heal from current situations. You know, we're trying to prepare ourselves for this future person that we're looking for. So I feel like right now, you know, a lot of us are in this healing energy. It's like you're wanting to heal, you're needing to heal, or you've already chosen to start healing. And your spirit guides are around you trying to allow you to heal. You know, because if you don't heal from from something, someone from your past, it's like you're just going to carry that into your next relationship, which means that you're not going to have successful relationships. So just know, Scorpio, at this time, if you're needing to heal, just know that your ancestors and your spirit guides are around you to provide you with this healing energy. Then I clarified that by you are not alone. Your ancient ancestors stand beside you. So you are not alone on this healing process. You have other people. I'm healing too, Scorpio, and there's other Scorpios that's out there having to heal, you know, from past relationships when it comes to love, romance, all that shit. So I feel like, you know, don't feel like you're by yourself and you're not by yourself 
in this situation. You know, you have your spirit guides and ancestors with you. Then we have intuition and downloads. So I feel like a lot of you guys could be hearing like high pitched noises or maybe it sounds like your ears are ringing or drumming or something like that. Seeing flickering lights. Um, these are downloads that you guys are getting. And maybe these downloads are trying to help you heal. They're letting you know that you have angels and spirit guides that are here helping you. You can also be getting downloads about these manifestations. These things that you guys have, have been manifesting. And it's letting you know that, hey, you know, your spirit guides just want to let you know that you have and you are connected to the universe. And you could be getting some downloads when it comes to your love and romance. Like, maybe spirit just wants you to get back out there. You know, some of you guys, we kind of in the house just chilling. You know, just, you, you say you want to look for somebody. You looking for the universe to bring you somebody. But, hell, they can't find you at your damn house, Scorpio. So, you know, maybe you need to get out there. Even if you don't, you know, take yourself out on a date. Get to know yourself a little bit better. If you get an invitation to go out with family and friends or whatever, you know, get out there. Then we have vulnerability and freedom. So I feel like spirit wants a lot of you guys to be vulnerable. Being vulnerable is going to allow you to be free. You know, allow yourself to be vulnerable for whatever hurt and pain that you've experienced through love because doing that is going to allow you to be free. And they want you to take a leap of faith. You know, some of you guys have been holding on to a lot of things. But they're saying take a leap of faith. You go first and the universe is going to catch you. Okay, so for Korean work, we have expect miracles. So I feel like you guys could be, maybe you're manifesting this new job and you can't get that new job. You're going to get that more money and you're going to be able to spend and enjoy your money. So Spirit is saying, hey, expect miracles when it comes to your career and finances. These are things that you manifest and you could get a raise, a promotion, but you're going to enjoy your money. Then we have honesty and communication. So I feel like when it comes to this, you know, your career and work, maybe you need to be honest with yourself or communicate with your family or your friends or whomever that maybe you want to take some type of risk when it comes to your career and work. Maybe you're not happy or satisfied with your job, the money that you're making. And it's like, you know, you need to be honest with yourself first. And then maybe communicate that to someone else. Then we have strength and guidance. I feel like you, some of you guys could be being led or you're being guided to do something different, maybe to network with other people or to collaborate and share your ideas. You know, if you guys have some ideas when it comes to your career and work, you know, maybe you need to network, share those ideas with people that could, that could also lead to this promotion. That more money we talking about, Scorpio. All right, you guys, I hope you like this reading. I'm not going to tell you to like, share, and subscribe. If you like the video, you're going to like it. All right, Scorpio, I love you guys and stay blessed.